off of the frame. Very shocking to watch that happen, but you can tell a lot by looking at those two videos. The number one engine is absolutely separated. That happens somewhere between V1 and rotate. Um, the NTSB said it got up to 400 feet. It didn't. You can see that from the picture right there. This is just seconds after it departed the runway. Um, it never got up that high, maybe 40, 50 feet at the most. Um, the pylon versus the engine discussion is it could have been one or the other. Either one would cause a catastrophic failure of the engine. I think the engine failed and destroyed the pylon. Um, they haven't had pylon issues in these airplanes in, in decades. Um, but uh, it, it could have been the pylon. Uh, and then the second angle that we just looked at shows the separated engine. It shows the number three engine still stalling um, as they're going airborne, and then they're just simply unable to, to climb or sustain flight. So the left wing dips a little bit <clears throat> because there's zero thrust coming out of that left side. And the recap now of everything that we know up to this point based on the new video and looking and confirming that that compressor stall was taking place on the right side. This airplane will not fly. It will not climb on one engine. It will not climb on one engine. It has to have two to do so. So the number one engine separated with a catastrophic failure. The number three engine was damaged uh, d d with a compressor stall. As a result, the aircraft lurches to the left and, uh, and then the left landing gear impacts that first warehouse and the airplane cartwheels over on its left side and knife edges into the ground and then skids for, I don't know, almost a mile. Um, they're still uh, looking for uh, people in the, the rubbage, the, the, excuse me, the uh, wreckage of this aircraft. And uh, they're going to take their time doing that. But our hearts go out and our prayers for certain. We absolutely pray here. I just prayed with my director. I pray with the producer here on the channel all the time. Uh, he's my son. And uh, we're people of faith and people of prayer. We prayed for those families. We continue to pray for the families. And I pray that you would continue to do that as well. Um, if any new updates come up, the NTSB gives us any new information or there's new video that's revealing of anything else that is uh, remotely connected to this, we will be right in front of the camera again to give you an update on it. But folks, I wanted to reassure you that this is what happened to this aircraft. Um, and this is a freak accident. I've nearly never seen anything quite like this before. Um, it's a one-off, really. It's kind of a unicorn of an accident. And uh, hopefully it's a one in a billion. All right, but if we get any more updates, we'll let you know. Well, I'm Captain Steve, and now you know. We'll get back as soon as we can.